In today's video, we're going to be creating a well-balanced, aggressive M4 class setup. On the last aggressive class setup, it seemed to have way too much recoil for some of you guys. So I figured, you know what? We're going to take it to sim.gg, this website where you can literally check every single stat for any gun in Modern Warfare 2 that is data literally ripped from the game itself so these stats are as accurate as they can possibly be so make sure to check out this website if you want to go out and create your own classes what i basically did with these attachments here is i compared them to other attachments that are available in the game and as you see here they do come with specific data for each and every single attachment you can really just deduce what attachments are actually worth using and what is not worth using that's what i like about this website for this specific m4 class setup I wanted it to be as aggressive as possible without having too much recoil. So uh, this took me quite some time to build here. So hopefully you guys do like the class setup. But anyways, for the muzzle, I went with the full Chrome Pro. And then for the laser, I went with FSS OV laser. And for the stock, I went with the Tempest P80 strike. And for the magazine, I went with the 45 round. This is optional, by the way. You don't have to use it. And we're going to go into that uh, just a little bit. Uh, and then for the grip, I went with the Phantom Grip. So all in all, all of these attachments combined, they helped me achieve less recoil and also not really butchering that ADS too much while keeping that theme of it being best up close and personal. This attachment right here is optional. Now, if we go ahead and remove this, uh, you see here that our stats for our ADS actually improve. Now, albeit it's not by much, but it is definitely a big improvement. Now, where we do see a big spike in improvement is our sprint to fire time. So obviously when you're rushing around the map, this is very important to be able to fire your shot quickly after coming off of a sprint. And then here you have your tactical sprint and sprint improvements as well. Really not too big of a difference, but green nonetheless. And then here again for our ADS forward and ADS strafe, we do see an improvement there. Uh, quite a big jump here actually for the ADS uh, forward and ADS strafe. And then here we have our recoil controlled as much as possible. Here's the base stats right here. Anything under these numbers, you're going to have a much better recoil. So when you're on this website and you're testing out different attachments, this is what you want to see. You want to see some green here because that shows that you are controlling that recoil as best as you possibly can. We're just going to add the 45 round. Like I said, it was optional, but I personally humbly believe the 45 round is going to be useful in close quarter situations because you're likely to go against another person anyway. So that said, the ADS does jump up from 240 to 268. So to mitigate this, you know, just just pre-aim around corners, pre-aim down lines of sight. You know, that's what you should be doing anyway in Call of Duty. Like in every Call of Duty, that's what you should be doing. We do get to keep our sprint to fire time and tactical sprint to fire as well as our ADS forward and strafe. Uh, we do take a minor hit to our tactical sprint and regular sprint and strafe. In today's gameplay, you'll see it. It didn't really matter too much. This isn't going to affect you greatly. Now, I would be concerned if this jumped from 240 to like 350 milliseconds, then this class setup would not even be worth using if you're trying to play aggressive. Now let's scroll down here to the stat comparison. So the M42 is the base M4 and this is our custom aggressive build here. So obviously we do have more ammo 45 rounds and that was optional as i said and then we do have our reload time was reduced here uh reload time i feel like that is just really not that big of a deal just you know hide somewhere safely reload your weapon etc and as for ads time we did discuss this but this would definitely be concerning if it was over 300 and then for our sprint to fire time this is where we see the major improvement at 149 from 210 and 220 from 310. And then here is our recoil. We did reduce the recoil here, but all in all, like when you use this class setup yourself, you will be quite surprised that these specific attachments that I have chosen are actually really not that bad. So I was genuinely surprised. I never would have guessed that the full comp pro is going to be a pretty decent muzzle. I'm so used to using the FTAC castle comp. When you compare and contrast these attachments and what they have to offer, you will see, you know, what's actually worth using and what's not. All right. So now let's go ahead and talk about the tuning for these attachments. All right. So let's start off with the full Chrome pro. So for my tuning, I went with 0.65 towards that aim down side speed and 0.25 towards that aiming idle stability. So I wanted to balance this out as much as I possibly could. Uh, and uh, unfortunately I couldn't try to get more out of the handling you know that's just the way that this tuning was built for this specific attachment if i were to go all the way down on aim down side speed it literally wouldn't even make a difference in fact it would actually make 
my recoil stat just a smidge worse. So that's why I had it where I had it. You know, I actually forgot. I think it's uh, like right here at 0 0.66, 0 0.65, that area right there. Uh, this gives us a good balance between recoil and accuracy. All right, next up we have the Phantom Grip. And for the Phantom Grip, I went with 0.55 towards recoil steadiness and 0.25 towards aiming auto stability. Now, I really wish I could get all the way to recoil and accuracy, but this specific attachment just doesn't allow us to make that possible. Because as you can see, the farther I move towards aiming auto stability, even if I were to do that, it doesn't do anything uh, other than reduce our handling. So uh, let's go ahead and reduce that back here. And by the way, if you're new to tuning, check this out. The farther you go and you pass that threshold, it starts to move a lot more. And then that's pretty much about it that, you know, that's as far as you can go. So you don't really want to do too much exaggeration with your tuning and you have to keep an eye on the opposite spectrum of things to see if it actually affects it or not. All right, moving on to the Tempest P80 stock. So I have 3.10 towards aim walking steadiness and 1.08 towards aiming auto stability. And for these two attachments, they are non-tunable. Just want to make that clear for the laser and the 45 round magazine. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like this class setup and also let me know if you don't like the class setup and what changes you would make to it. And also check out that website, build your own class setup. And then if you have a better one, make sure to leave it down below in the comments. I'm open to trying out your guys' class setups make sure to leave a like if you did learn something today and subscribe turn on notice and for the rest of you guys i'll see you guys in the gameplay let's go ahead and check out this class setup told myself i'd never play on this map but for the sake of today's video we're gonna go ahead and play it man especially with this m4 class setup i am expecting you know some pretty good close quarter combat so that's why this map kind of fits but uh you know we'll see i'm not really a fan of this map uh, to say the least but I mean, the star of the show is going to be the M4 class setup. Now, one thing I must say that I never really liked about this map is obviously the cars that just randomly blow up. So that's why I like sticking to the outskirts here and just kind of doing the traditional flanking. Oh, I've seen somebody right there. So yeah, I went with the 45 round. You know, it's totally not necessary, but I feel like in this game, uh, maybe, you know, having that extra insurance is a good idea. So that's why I feel like this class setup definitely just works out, you know? Because when you start to add weight to your class setup, uh, the class setup definitely gets slower. Oh, that was a perfect flank, man. That, that, that recoil definitely felt great. And honestly, I would have never used the muzzle that I showed you guys. It's, it's just the full chrome. Yeah, never, never would have thought about using that one. Anyways, let's get, let's get on the hard point here. Uh-oh. Let's hope no cars. Wait, there's one. I just don't want any cars to blow up on me. Wait. Oh, easily heard that guy's footsteps. Wait, enemy advanced UAV? There's absolutely no way. There's absolutely no way. They're coming for us. I'm right here. Oh my gosh. Dude, my Claymore. Claymore helped me kill that guy so fast. So far, like, the M4 definitely does feel great. Like, you would think you'd need an underbarrel for it, but, uh... Oh, oh, geez. I mean, there's only so much I can do with that advanced UAV in the air. Yeah, there it is. I don't think I've ever shown you guys a gameplay on this map before. But I think it's because you guys, I don't know if you guys would even enjoy watching this map, but you know, it is what it is. Hopefully their advanced UAV went away, man. That is crazy. They got that so fast. All right, here we go. We're coming up on a flank here. Nice flank. Nice. I'm hearing Okay, teammate took him out. Oh. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Okay. Okay, that that's great. Like, what am I supposed to do against that? Oh, someone brought out the... Uh... Okay, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on. But yeah, this is uh, meant for aggression, okay? Dude, 
You gotta be kidding me. Okay, here we go. I'm ready for this guy. Yeah! Who won it? <laughs> oh my god, I thought for sure I was gonna have that guy. Oh my goodness. Dude, are you kidding me? Yeah, running out here is definitely a death wish. Dude, what? I'm gonna have to clarify, this probably is gonna be the last time I, I show you guys this gameplay. On this map at least. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this this map is an absolute maze. Man, man, no cherry picking here. Whatever gameplay I get, you guys are just gonna have to settle with. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my god, that guy turned around so quick. Well, at least we're up big. That's all I could ever ask for. Oh wait, someone's right here. God, that drop shot panned out really well. All right, dude, what? Nice. Oh, he's down and out. Play more there. Dude, teammates popping off right now. Gotta love it. Yeah, there's a lot of back and forth on this map. That's why I don't really like it that much. Man, I want to join in on the fun and call my kill streaks too. All right, let's make our way back on that side. We only need one more for the helo. I would really love to get it on this map. Come on, give me one more kill, baby. One more kill. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god! That that was super risky. Okay, let's call this in now. Oh my who's shooting at me. Okay. Gonna pop this daddy so we can run a little bit faster here. Well, it looks like we got this game in the bag. It turned out a lot better than I expected. Yeah, let's go. All right. Didn't do too that that bad. We got 29 kills there. Uh, damn, teammate definitely carried. Uh, shout out to teammate. But anyways, guys. Uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys liked today's video and you did learn something from that website. Guys, make your class setups, and if you have a best class setup, let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notice. I'll see you guys in the next one.